Welcome to Shift by Bacardi. Hey everyone, happy Monday. My name is Michael Hopper. I'm here in beautiful Halifax, Nova Scotia, representing Highwayman Restaurant, and I'm checking in for my shift. Just wanted to say a big shout out before we get started to Bacardi for allowing all of us bartenders while we're stuck here at home to kind of step back behind the bar, or in my case, my side table, and uh, getting back to doing what we love. So we're here in my living room now, and uh, this is probably how I spend most of my mornings. As soon as I get up, it's geared into my routine, uh, what that usually comprises of, of some form of exercise, whether that is going to the gym, going for a run, but it always ends here, and either one of two things, either stretching or a brief 10 to 20 minute meditation. We're now in my kitchen as I am British, a British passport. I grew up in British culture. Tea is the spine of my day. And what we're going to do right now is brew a proper pot of tea. We've boiled our water. We've poured it over our tea here. It sits in the pot. We have our mug of Royals. Those will sit for five minutes. So we're back at the bar while our tea is steeping. I figure we can multitask and make a cocktail for everybody. So I'm really lucky that I have the beautiful Patrona Yayo as a highlighted product here and that I get to make one of my personal favorite cocktails as well as I've never met a bartender who didn't love a Tommy's Margarita. It's a beautifully simplistic cocktail that allows you to highlight the featured spirit. This Picardi Shift video is brought to you by Patron Añejo. I'm so incredibly lucky to be working with this product today. Uh, it is a beautiful elder statesman in the Patron line. It is a tequila that is aged for over 12 months, sitting in wood um, in a combination of a Hungarian oak, French, and ex-bourbon whiskey casks. Uh, this particular tequila has notes of honey, raisin, that beautiful agave flavor, that little bit of vegetal note that's usually found in their products as well as just a really subtle smoky finish there on your palate. Um, if you're lucky enough to use this tequila in cocktails, it shines through on its own. It's a wonderful thing too. And for this video, I'm very excited to be working with this product. So what we're gonna do is take beautiful Patron and yay ho. I do two ounces. As with any good margarita, fresh lime juice is always recommended. Try to do one ounce of lime juice. Limes these days quite hard. Good roll before will always assist in that process as you juice them. One full lime we're gonna put in here. Roughly an ounce based on yield, a little change. And then on top of that, we're gonna pop in half an ounce of agave syrup. Any local grocer will carry agave syrup using the organic aisle. You can also make your own, if you have that bottle at home, you can kind of do one-to-one -one, uh, water to agave to kind of thin it a little bit, make it a little more malleable, easier to pour. We're gonna add a little bit of ice. So we're gonna give her a shake. Tommy's Margarita being one of my favorites. It's a cocktail named after Tommy Bermejo out of the Tommy's Mexican restaurant in San Francisco in the 80s. It's a highlighted cocktail, it's loved by bartenders everywhere. It is one of my personal favorite drinks to have in the shift or at any bar that I go to. My drink for you with beautiful Patron and Yeho, Tommy's Margarita. Cheers. I hope you guys enjoyed going through my morning routine with me, making a cup of tea, making a cocktail. It was an absolute pleasure. This is Michael Hopper from Halifax for Bacardi Shift, signing out.